so VD, um, <laughs> it seems like you've been doing a good job so far um, getting in front of companies that you want to work for and you have a couple of positive responses hopefully coming by the end of this week. We'd just love to hear kind of what were the steps that you took to get in front of them? How did that whole process play out? And uh, what do you think helped you stand out? So uh, the first thing I started with was I went through different job profiles that I liked and I saw what are the things that they need and tried to update my resume accordingly. I tried to um, talk about my experience more where I can relate more to. My resume will be more relatable to the industry rather than just focusing on this is what I worked on um, mm -hmm. and talking more on industry with the industry's language and then I reached out to a lot of people on LinkedIn I emailed them I reached out to a lot of friends and asked them for referrals so I did a lot of that and I joined a lot of uh, uh, LinkedIn groups where especially for like for marketing operations there, there are like four or five groups where um, you can go up, go in talk about things and if there are any questions that you have so I did that plus I it was never like no I would not speak with a recruiter or a company that is even open to contract positions I'm like I just want to be out there talk with them to yeah. see where I stand so I never told no and I expect uh, accepted all the LinkedIn uh, requests because there's never a wrong person to add in your network so that helped because that created my net strong network and I tried to reach out to the hiring manager I tried to find the hiring manager took LinkedIn premium and did that I also searched a lot I did a research on Glassdoor as well before interviewing or talking with anyone so that um, I have a better idea and understanding on, as to what they're expecting and what do they want and that kind and I, I was patient in the entire process because you have to be sensitive about what the companies are also going through so I gave them enough time rather than just pushing them and I think uh, that worked and so I did not even take one day off that oh no like I lost my job yeah. and now what I was like okay fine but so let's hit the ground running and I mm -hmm. updated resume started reaching out to people and one of the companies I spoke with them right on the day I lost my job and today I will have an offer from them soon. So that okay. in that state of mind, I tried to speak, but that helped. So I just did not give up. I was constant. And I also was working on my skills. So I did a few certifications and um, read a lot of case studies and how, what are the new trends in the industry. And that kind of helped, uh, worked in my favor because I was more relevant. Okay. Um, yeah. so it sounds like you were kind of interacting and talking with a lot of people, you know, sending messages directly, uh, yes. con connecting with them on LinkedIn, yeah. being on groups, maybe commenting or liking and kind of like just being a part of the conversation. Yes. Yeah. Um, was there a certain like type of message that you would use or is there something that you would say to them when you reached out? Usually my messages, um, because I've seen it from my past, like if you send vague messages like uh, I I like the company, I'm interested in a position, it doesn't really work. They get a lot of messages. Mm -hmm. And like now after working in the industry, I've realized they have so many people reaching out. So I try to be more specific. And like first line is, of course, more about like, hi, how are you doing? And I really like this position and I'm interested in with the link of the position so that it's they exactly know where it is rather than be more vague and nothing more than four lines of, yep. uh, a little bit about how like how they're doing next line i'm interested in this and if it's i know that is the recruiter for the position then maybe a little bit about myself saying i have these skills and i would love to talk more about it that's about it nothing like nothing huge or nothing crazy mm -hmm. so that they can and i always used to do it during lunch time because and in the morning because that is the time recruiters would usually check LinkedIn rather than during the day mm -hmm. so I was very specific about the timings and I try not to uh, apply do out of our office hours mm -hmm. so I try to do it between nine to five that helps me kind of stick to a routine as well okay, okay. Um, and you mentioned that there were a few things that you were doing because it kind of made sense. Like you had been doing it before in a prior role and it just seemed like it would apply to your job yeah. search. Like what are maybe two or three things or a couple things that 
you took from your previous position that you applied to your job search? You mentioned a couple of them, but what do you think were like the top ones that stood out to you? So um, earlier, again, earlier, it used to be like mass application. I would just see the roles and apply, 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 apply. Mm -hmm. um, now I would like invest time in each and every position. I would go through LinkedIn, try to find people in that uh, within the team, or at least in that company, if I know someone, and then I would try to apply for that position rather than just going on LinkedIn, seeing there are 10 positions and just applying for them. Sure. I would try to make sure that I apply in a right time zone. I'll try to see my resume is more catered towards that role. Because with my role, at least in automation, marketing automation, you touch on so many different aspects that it's difficult to just narrow it down to those 10 things that you want to talk about on your resume. So I, not for every role, but at least I try to keep like three different resumes for each and every role. I use those resumes and then apply. And I try to add cover letter for the most part, but not always. I would rather send a message to the recruiter rather than adding a cover letter in the yeah. application. And how did you learn those things? So first, again, I read a lot on LinkedIn, seeing people's suggestions, what they did. I spoke with a few people. I had a few career advisors in my university. So I spoke with them. And in my, uh, in my previous, not previous job, the one before that, I was very close to the HR. Like it was a smaller company, so it was easier to talk with people. So I spoke with her a lot as to what are her expectations, what are the things that she faces, and um, that kind of, Getting feedback from people helped. And if something, a role did not work out, I would try to ask, like, what happened? What went wrong? Right. Every time you don't get a reply, but at least I try wherever I could. That's a really good point. I mean, I think if I understood correctly right before was that you actually talked with someone in HR that was in talent acquisition about what are some of the things that they're looking for. That's, right. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, because um, if you're in the company, then you have access to those resources, then why right. not use it? Yeah, like, no, take, take them out for a yeah. coffee and then talk about things that you want to ask. And I also have, I'm like uh, lucky enough to have a group of people who are uh, like more on a managerial level position now. So they are in the hiring process, they hire for themselves, like within the team. So kind of know, I get a feedback from them as to what they look for. And so that is like really hands-on um, yeah, yeah. training that I get from my friends. Just being able to like, obviously take it all in and then apply it. Cool. No, that's very helpful, Vivi. Thank you. No matter what, we'd love to have you as part of the community. I can invite you to the Slack if you're interested. Um, we do, you know, still share resources. We can have you lead some sessions with our candidates if you're interested in that. What we would like encourage, uh, just from a practicality standpoint, is with either of these next two roles, um, if there are ways that we can help you be better in those roles, um, we can try to focus on that. So, for example, you know, you're going into marketing automation, and maybe you need to, um, you know, connect with certain types of tools or technology. Right. 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 We might be able to be a platform to give you access to that. Um, or maybe, you know, your team is hiring and you want access to really great marketers, et cetera. Like you can, yeah. you know, leverage the community in that way. Um, and then if you see things that come up that interest you, definitely, um, you know, reach out. But this is a good way for us to start the dialogue. And uh, yeah, really look forward to kind of hearing more. Awesome. This was super, super fun and very interesting. Awesome. Thank you, Vivi. Yeah. We appreciate it.